Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. The ability for farmers to gauge soil moisture is always critical as they try to plan for crop success. And now the scientists at Mesonet have a new way for you to stay informed. Here's SUNUP's Dave Deacon. Have you ever wondered if there's enough water in this ground to make sure that the seeds that you planted grow all the way to maturity? Well, actually, there is a new free online tool that can help you find that information out. So previously, the Mesonec product, the soil moisture product, was fractional water index, and, we, and the Mesonet still has that uh, product. And now we have a new product to offer also, and it's the plant available water map for the state. It's a daily updated map for the state. Researchers traveled to all 77 counties across the state to get over 100 soil samples from each of the 120 mesonet sites. So the numbers that are produced are accurate to Oklahoma's different soil types. So what this gave us was a really detailed coverage of the state and the type of soils that we have at the mesonet stations. And then we brought those back to the lab and we ran several different tests on those to get the physical properties of the soil so that we could interpret the sensor output that the mesonet already provides. So this great data is now able to be interpreted into the plant available water. The measurements that were taken were the water content at different pressures and then we have the um, soil texture at each of the sites and we combine this together with uh, some equations and that's what it enables us to interpret that data. And a fundamental difference is the plant available water accounts for the soil differences from one site to the next, number one. Number two, it gives us a unit that we can understand. It's, it's amount of water in inches. So just like we're used to thinking about precipitation in inches or crop water use in inches, now we have a measure of, of uh, the water in the soil in inches. And think of it this way. This is the soil. The sponge is going to absorb all the water that it can whenever we get a rain. Say that's a nice three inch rain. Now everything left over will be represented in the plant available water. And one thing to remember, whenever you're looking at the plant available water map, say the 16 inch one, that represents all of the water from the topsoil down to 16 inches. It's not just the moisture at that depth like in other maps. The plant available water map is not only exciting for Oklahoma's agricultural producers, but also for the people who are helping to conserve the water that is already in the ground. And so when you're making that decision as to what summer crop you may want to plant or uh, whether it's canola or whatever crop, Having an idea of what the soil moisture is like in that soil profile uh, is very valuable information. Tyson wants to explain one more thing about all the data that's collected. We are measuring and reporting the plant available water under the existing vegetation at the mesonet site, which is not cropland. So these are primarily under grassland type vegetation. And so as you move to different vegetation types, you can expect to have different levels of plant available water because they've had different water use histories. Well, we hope that it'll be useful to producers, uh, especially uh, earlier in the year as they're starting to assess, you know, what's the outlook for the summer. We know it's gonna get dry generally during the summer, uh, but in the springtime, we really, there's a lot of uncertainty about what our soil moisture conditions are gonna be. And for a link to the plant available water site, visit our website, sunup.okstate.edu.